want to feel more comfortable with my appearance as I get older. Ultimately, I have some areas on my face that I've been unhappy with or I just see myself as I'm aging that I hope to correct. I made my decision to come to Faceology just after doing lots of research and feeling comfortable with Dr. Lee. Dana is a 55-year-old female. When you hit your 50s, you start to see things that you've never seen before. As I get older, I start to see some areas that just make me feel older. She reached out to us from Arizona. She was looking for a natural facial rejuvenated appearance. We did an initial consult virtually. I'm from Arizona, from Flagstaff. We're getting snow and here I am at the beach now and I'll be recovering here. What I'm looking forward to most is getting a little bit of that double chin or get rid of that. You get the double chin, you get what maybe the turkey waddle, you see some sagging jowls, what we call marionette or puppet lines. Three months from now, I really hope to just have a younger feel to my face. I I don't want to have that chin anymore. I want my eyes and my forehead to look a little bit more youthful. We're going to refresh her and make her look the best she can to achieve her personal goals. My surgery is in just a few days and my excitement is outweighing my nervousness right now. Hi, here we are this morning. We have our patient Dana and Dana, how old are you again? 55. Dana's 55 and today we're doing a sort of pan facial neck rejuvenation. So um, you see these photos here. So today we are gonna address the double chin that you can see in multiple views here, especially in the side view, you see that puffiness right here. Um, we have a lack of gel line definition. So we're gonna address the lower face and neck area with our faceology lift, which includes a lower face and neck lift. Um, we're also gonna address the skin over the upper eyelids and you can see that it's slowly encroaching um, onto the lateral eye here. And we're also gonna um, do a little mini brow lift as well, okay? At the very end, we're gonna treat her skin. We're gonna um, go from the hairline to the cheeks, to the chin, to the chest, and we're gonna treat that with laser skin resurfacing. And that's gonna address these sunspots, these fine lines, the pores, and again, some of the sunspots as well. We'll take it up to the eyelid to help tighten up the lower eyelid as well. So now we'll take a look at Dana live in person. Dana, I'm gonna have you hold up the mirror like it's on a wall about nose level, and I'm gonna reach around you and show us what we can accomplish. So you're seeing, and she's got great bone structure, high cheekbones, strong jawline, attractive face. We're just seeing some of this laxity here. So overall, we wanna get this up like that, okay? That's the incision for our faceology lift. You can see it's a big purple marker. It's really hard to see what it's placed in favorable positions. But let me show that to you again. The extension in the sideburn tuft here. We have it going in and around the ears, the back of the ear towards the hair, and then along the hairline here. Everybody, we just finished our case. Uh, we did a nice lower face and neck lift and upper lid blepharoplasty, including uh, CO2 laser, the face, chest, and hands. Um, patient's just waking up now. It took about three and a half hours. Uh, she did really well, and we look forward to sharing her results with you. Hi, everyone. Wanted to show you our three-month post-operative facial rejuvenation. We did her upper eyelids, lateral brow lift, her lower face and neck lift, and here she is three months later. We wanted to further beautify her, so we extended that with a lateral brow lift, an upper lid blepharoplasty, and a full face laser, giving her the ultimate Faceology MD beauty package. Here at the three month mark, I still see results as I'm healing. The healing process was much quicker than I expected. The biggest changes I see really are, I, well, it sounds silly, I look in the mirror and I, I see the way I thought I looked all along. <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better journey with it and I look forward to the continuing results.